Smiles my face Tell you the story Of who I am So many stories Of where I've been And now I got to Where I am But these stories Don't mean anything When you've got no one To tell them to It's I was made for you. They were courageous. They fought to the end. They did a great job. It's a tribute to the great team that we had. I'm thrilled about it. I'm excited about it because I like the way our team gets after people. Remember the clock doesn't stop when he touches it. Uh, I can't believe it now. Nick Anderson hits the shot. I thought that Steve Bardo did a good job by calling the timeout. Then he made the good pass to Nick, and Nick uh, squared around and uh, just made a fantastic shot. That was a, uh, an outstanding era for Illinois basketball. And that's not a boo, that's a loo. Lou Henson is the winningest coach in school history, amassing 423 victories during his 21 seasons in Champaign from 1976 to 1996. He ranks fourth in Big Ten history in overall wins and in conference wins as well with 214. Henson's Illini won a Big Ten title in 1984, and he led the Illini to 12 NCAA appearances, including the 1989 Final Four, when the Flying Illini won 31 games. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Director of Athletics, Mike Thomas. Thank you, Fighting Illini fans, for being here tonight for one of the most historic nights in fighting Illini men's basketball history to recognize Lou Henson. The keys to having a great tradition and a great basketball history starts with the fans who are here tonight and Coach Henson is responsible for this arena looking like this from his history and his tradition and what he started here and also our Orange Crush, which was founded in Lou Henson's living room. So let's give everybody a hand for what they've done and what they continue to do. In addition to great fans and our great students, the Orange Crush, it's got to be about the players. And I'll tell you, in a short time, the players here, the history here, and what's represented around the court tonight, these great young men, these older young men, uh, I can't call them old guys anymore, but what they've done to establish themselves in the history as players and as people is outstanding. That's also a tribute to Coach Henson. And finally, finally, Coach Henson himself. You need a great coach, you need a great leader, you need a great person. And I'll tell you what, all his accolades, 779 wins, 41 seasons, 21 seasons at the University of Illinois, all those things, as I've said before, Lou Henson, the coach, pales in comparison to Lou Henson, the person. He is an outstanding individual.
As someone said earlier today, the greatest team in Illinois history is Lou and Mary Henson. And I think Lou would be the first to tell you that he would not be where he is today as a coach, as a person, as a father, as a friend, as a husband, if it wasn't for Mary Henson. So let's give Mary a nice hand. <laughs> Mary deserves everything she gets. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. And they're coming out. So I want you to make a lot of noise for Lou and Mary Henson as they come and veil this banner which is gonna hang from the rafters of the Assembly Hall. Well, it's been a long run for Lou, 41 years and near-death experience with that uh, sickness that he had back when he was coaching the second time at New Mexico State. But he's strong as a bull now, except for that one leg. He's got a little paralysis there, but boy, he's, he's come a long way back. 50 pounds down he was at one time. Keith. Yeah, he, it's an amazing uh, story. and. And uh, watching him the last few days and recount all the stories, just been an amazing, uh, amazing run. He's a great, he's a great person, great ambassador for the University of Illinois. Now he's going to pull the string and unveil the banner that will go to the ceiling. Here it comes. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh, that's a big banner too, bigger than I realized. Well, when it hangs up that high, it looks like... It has to be big to see it, right? <laughs> That's right. It's a picture of Lou. looks like about, about when he's coaching about 1989. Congratulations, Lou and Mary. That's probably team. right. Probably the late 80s in, uh, in, his, in his orange jacket. I think we all yeah. felt it was appropriate that uh, he remembered in that orange jacket because that's what he made famous here. You know, coaches all over the country don't wear the colors of their team. They usually wear suits and maybe a tie that's the color of their team, but Lou wore the orange jacket. I don't know that many coaches would have done that. 